Good evening. A local school system is promising better communication as it copes with the disappearance of a 15-year-old girl. Investigators believe Elizabeth Thomas was kidnapped by her teacher, Tad Cummins, 12 days ago. The Murray County School District is now creating a task force to try to keep something like this from happening again. Meanwhile, Channel 4 has uncovered new information about where Elizabeth and Cummins were allowed to go together after they were allegedly caught kissing in a classroom. Channel 4's Carly Gordon reports. The classroom kiss between teacher Tad Cummins and student Elizabeth Thomas is alleged to have happened on January 23rd. The school district says they launched their own investigation, and they say four days later they removed Elizabeth from Cummins' classroom. But tonight, Channel 4 has learned that very same day, they allowed Elizabeth to go on a field trip with Cummins as her chaperone. The bottom line is those kinds of things should not happen. Jason Watley is Elizabeth's family attorney. He's been talking to Murray County's attorney. He says the two were not told to stay away from each other while the school's investigation took place. If there's an allegation of inappropriate contact, it's done. No contact until we figure out what's going on. That's easy. That's easy. We're making this way more complicated than it needs to be. We asked how Elizabeth's family is reacting to the discovery. His reaction is outrage. That's the reaction. That's the reaction, I would argue, of every single parent who knows these facts. Every single one. The Murray County School District Superintendent, Dr. Chris Marzak, continues to deny our request for an interview. But today, the district sent a statement saying all policies and procedures were followed. They also announced the creation of a task force designed to improve how they react and how they communicate with the public when bad things happen at school. But the fact of it is you don't need a task force to tell you to notify parents if there's an allegation that your daughter has been kissed by a teacher. That's easy. That's really easy. How about this? We'll have that meeting right now. Everybody in favor, say aye. We're done. Marzak says, quote, we are absolutely committed to help ensure that this kind of situation is never repeated in the future. And this task force is our first step in that plan of action. Tonight, Watley wants the focus to remain on finding Elizabeth. He says his office has now launched their own investigation. Things that she said, things that she said to other students and friends and people at the school about what her intentions were or what Tad Cummins said. We need this information and we need it desperately. The Murray County School District has hired a public relations firm to help them handle this situation. That's who sent the press release regarding the task force today. We want to know how much the district is paying for these PR services. The firm tells us they're still negotiating the costs. Just within the last hour, the Murray County Superintendent sent an email to parents regarding the task force. We have it posted on our website, WSMV.com.